global warming debate. Closer caused by human intervention, the real enemy then is human. Are at their highest levels in more than 2013. That by 2012, there will be a world to meet biological, chemical, and radiological weapons. There's you, Egypt. The future has the most difficult role in our society. Egypt, but that world is a witch. I'm not the father. The church is a church for each and every one. Our precious earth is pure. It's mine. Each and every day. Why is this pure and great above you? And this was pure to be a hostile and good holy people. We seem to be isolated, alone, in a cold, dark, desolate, of empty, black space. Life exists here in great abundance amidst what appears to be a hostile and brutal solar system. We seem to be isolated and alone in a cold, dark vacuum of empty black space. Upon our planet, there seems to be a natural harmony to this precious gift we call life. We see these exquisite examples of this miracle of life all around us each and every day. We observe the splendor of harmony in nature. We witness its wonders in our bountiful forest. We are aware of it in our plentiful oceans. And yes, even amongst humankind, we can see enormous examples of illumination and clarification that we do indeed live in a universe and not a chaos. We can experience moments of great peace tranquility and enjoyment. We can seek out the teachings of our ascended masters, no matter which faith, where there is love that we have. Why then is the predominant animal living upon this planet appear to be so out of sync with this world, this world of spectacular creation? History has taught us only too well, both in the past and in the present, that humankind can be both good or evil. Our deeds, our deeds continue to reveal to us that humankind has the ability to either create and be a part of this miracle of life, or to destroy and become a part of another force that seems to exist upon this earth. Or to destroy and become a part of another force that seems to exist upon this earth. A force that appears to have dominated most of our civilizations throughout history. In a universe where most of us believe in inherent good, why does the workings of a sinister and seemingly innocuous plots of the powerful and the wicked seem to dominate our societies in the present? as well as throughout the course of known history. We will show you that there does indeed seem to be a conspiracy. A conspiracy of which many of us have been more than hesitant to accept. In the next two hours we will show you how these secret societies have plotted together for equal gain. In the next two hours we will show you how these secret societies have plotted together for equal gain. So sit back, relax, absorb, be hypnotized. We will reveal how civilization has been manipulated by specific pagan beliefs and arcane rituals. This film will reveal this film will reveal the inner workings of a force of evil that directs and influences every one of us on this planet. The powerful and the illustrious seem to pervade and far outweigh the accomplishments of the good.
Mm-hmm.